So once we're out of earshot of the group, I was wondering if we could try to stealthily follow them and see if we could catch sight of this guy. Like, I would, but I'm not really that good at stealth, so I'm, like, kind of worried that, like, they're going to find me out if I try sneaking behind them. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm pretty good at stealth, but I don't want to split up the group. Yeah, okay, so we can try. Like, worst case, they spot us, and we'll be like, oh, we forgot something at the Cadbury place. Honestly, I'm just trying to find a clue of where we're supposed to go next. I think we should go to that thing. It had the round table, it had the zodiac signs, it seems like, yeah, it seems to have a lot of reoccurring signs that we seem to have, and that seem to be in the surrounding circumstances. Maybe we'll have another secret memory. I don't know. Now that I think about a fall, it actually sounds like a bad idea. They said they hadn't seen the guy for a while. Maybe we should just head into town and see what we can find. Yeah, I think we should, like, ask about that guy. It, it seems kind of, like, a bit worrying that, like, he's hanging around trying to look for something and following people but not wanting to be talked to, you know? Yeah. He sounds like he could be maybe one of our foes. I don't know. You think so? But, like, the last thing we want is to, like, start beating up some poor homeless guy. Is that the last thing we want? Yes, that is the last thing we want. Okay. <laughs> just we do not want to end up in jail. Yep. Well, wouldn't be my time. You go to the pub, and um, at the pub, uh, Xander, you check out the map from the, the region, and uh, there's a name that sticks out to you. It's called uh, Downhead. It's a little village, apparently, not very far from here, but the name the name is really familiar. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll, I'll look to everyone. This name here seems really familiar to me. I, I can't quite place my finger on why, but perhaps it's worth looking into? Well, vague feelings of familiarity seem to be our only guide in this yeah. quest, so might as well. Yeah, might as well follow that vague feeling as well. Dunhead? Do not Google that. No, obviously that was a poor choice on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> The images are pretty weird, okay? Why is everything in this game an innuendo? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't life just one big innuendo? <laughs> Alright, so are you, are you asking the owners of the bar about the vagrants? Uh, yeah. Okay. You learned basically the same thing that the teacher told you. He's a guy that has been seen around, doesn't seem to do much. That might have been him, they're not sure, but that might have been him. Uh, some, some vagrant was arrested in a nearby village yesterday and taken to a cell for the night because he caused a commotion in a, in a marketplace or something. Uh, cool, thanks. We really appreciate it. Marketplace? I si- sort of signal the guy to like, let's step from the guy at the front desk for a moment. And, like, I asked them, um, do you guys want to follow him to try and find out who the, this guy is? Yeah, sounds like a good plan. By the way, did he say marketplace? I just realized something. Do any of us have any money? Well, I assume we have some cash on us. Everybody has cash on them, don't they? Well, you all have basic money. I mean, uh, um, we'll, have, we'll do this, uh, the, the thing about the, the money precisely later. But um, you have enough to go about, basically. All right. Let's go to the marketplace and beat up a homeless guy. Sure. You mean talk politely? One of those two, for sure. <laughs> we'll decide which one we get there. You drive or take the bus to a nearby village where you stop. I guess like, we can go to the police station and ask if they have seen this guy. Police? I, I don't know. That, that, that seems like a, a bad idea. I mean, Maybe we should try to avoid the police. Uh, not, you know. Why does the police make you so nervous? <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's drop the issue. <laughs> okay, we all well, have our secrets, I guess. I can agree with that. I think if we had less issues with law enforcement, as people who could pull out magical swords, the better. Yeah. So, you know, how do you guys want to go more. about this? Violently. No. This Probably. is how we end Probably. up in the police. In the jail. You asked me. I answered. 
<laughs> now come up with a better idea. Uh, we can right. find other homeless people. Ask them if they saw him. Yeah, I, th- I think the, the you know the realistically the best option is to to ask a plethora of homeless individuals and then just cross reference what they tell us. Look, he's our friend, and we're trying to find him. Yeah, yeah, our homeless friend. We can say that like we are friends of his family, and we came here to help them track him down. So we start asking around, trying to see if we can find this guy. Well, uh, one of you can roll for persuasion. I'll take that roll. Barely made it. Ooh. Good. Just a question, like, yes. why is the top one light and the bottom one darkness? That is a good question. See, as trinities, being accompanied by uh, an archon and a deva, you can throw two dice, whereas uh, normal humans can only throw one die. That means that you can you can choose uh, the die that's the highest for your for your purpose. With a limitation that I've explained it in the file I've sent everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What is actually happening if we're picking between light and darkness for our roles? Well, I mean, um, what is actually happening is you give a little bit of ground to either the Archon or the Deva that is not prominent right now, which in all of your cases, I think, is the, the Archon. The Archons are the good, right? No, the Archon is the, is the bad one. No, I pick Deva. Be my favorite. Yeah, so that's what happens, but... You're never at risk of being like possessed or anything, but uh, what that means is that you owe a debt of experience to uh, raising the Archon's um, karma. Ah, I see. Until you reach balance, and if you're at balance and both the Deva and the Archon have the same number of, um, of, of karma dots, uh, you, you choose whatever die you want. But then you don't have as much karma because you don't have a difference between the two. Fennec, you start Going around, uh, talking to various homeless people in the in the village. It's not. There's really not a lot, because it's a small village. But uh, you eventually find some, and you, you can gather the story together. Basically, that um, they've seen this guy. He's apparently new in the area, and he doesn't seem to talk much. Well, sometimes he talks, but it's kind of like uh, gibberish. And sometimes he, he's a little bit more coherent. Uh, some people seem to have gathered that he's from London. But uh, that's all they know personally about him. They know, although, that he was arrested yesterday because he flew into an unexplainable rage at the marketplace and, like, flipped tables and started uh, punching a few people. And uh, the police had to come and they they took him to a, a nearby town that's a little bit bigger to keep him until further notice. Assuming that he was probably drunk, uh, they would keep him there and then uh, let him go the next day. Okay, so that means today they're supposed to be letting him go. Do you guys want to go there and just like wait around the police station suspiciously and see if he comes out? No, but I feel like that's our best move. Yeah, I'm all about that. Just hope they don't try to get me on that warrant. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a town called Yeoville. Yeoville? Yeah, it's the biggest town in the, in that specific area. That's where there's uh, the, the police is. Well, I guess we know where we're heading. How do you move around now? Are you do you like take public transportation? Did you well, somebody rent a car or? I felt like I got there with a car. Okay. So I guess we're using my car, or oh, I don't know if it's a car that I own or a car that I rented, but I guess I drove there. I, I'm not sure like how big exactly is the UK. No, it's not that big. I mean, you could probably drive from one end to the other in one whole day at most. I just assume my butler Jeeves took me off of the private jet and drove me to Cadbury Hill. <laughs> yes, Jeeves I lifted me. No, you, you jumped for the parachute. Yes, of course. <laughs> a life of thrill is mine. I didn't even use a parachute. I just jumped from the plane into the water. Filled with sharks and fought them off. <laughs> that's, how, that's how Xander got here. There's always someone trying to be the one upper. <laughs> no, it's, it's true. He he didn't drive like that. It's a hot <laughs> air balloon, and there were sharks in the air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know like the distance between London and that place? No, oh, London and that place. 
Not exactly, but it's uh, they're both uh, they're both at the south of the island, so it's it's really not that far. Not that far. Okay, okay so I guess I drove there then. Uh, yeah, it probably uh, you could probably get like two hours of car. So I guess we just use our car and we're driving around in that. Guys, you're all helping me pay for the fuel. I left my wallet in my other cargo pants. Yeah, um, I don't buy that. I'm still waiting for my. Uh... Completely legal assets to liquidize. <laughs> Do you accept military rations? <laughs> no, I don't. I accept fuel and stuff that make the car drive. The fate of the world is important, but gas money is more important. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyway, after a mortal combat for the gas money, you get you had to yield, though. And uh, well, you look for the for the police station or. Uh, well, the guy's been taken, and well, you find the police station surrounded by um, police tape, and uh, there are a few broken windows. You can see white outlines of bodies on the on the ground, and there's like a few police cars around that are uh, well guarding the place. Holy shit! What the hell happened there? Whew. All right, you don't have to worry. I'm pretty sure that we can guess that he is the diva terrorist. Yes, apparently, Xander, you are right. There are demon terrorists about. Well, you know what that means. But we have to Magic find him. Or... No, we have to find him first. How do we track him down now? Is there a path of destruction around the police station? Well, not really, no. Uh, okay, so I go, I walk up to one of the police officers, and I'm like, oh, whoa, excuse me, sir, what happened here? I'm afraid I can't really tell you to tell you too much about this. I mean, as you can see, it's it's a pretty, it's pretty nasty crime scene. I walk up to the police officer and try to persuade him to tell us what, ha what happened. Yeah, I'm a simple citizen, I have to know what we are up against, like, what we should avoid, what we should be careful against. Mm -hmm. You roll. Good. Well, officer, I feel like us as concerned citizens, we need to know what to protect ourselves from. I'm, and if it's able to hurt a police station like this, I feel like we need to know. Well, no, all right. Uh, I mean, don't, don't stay here too long, though, though because uh, this is restricted area. And, I mean, you're not supposed to, to stay. It's pretty brutal anyway. You're not supposed to stare at dead people like this. Um, all right, so I can't really say too much because I wasn't there last night, but apparently there was some kind of vagrant that was arrested nearby, and um, they, they brought him here, and um, at some point during the night, the guy broke out and killed the officers that were there with a sword, and like... Uh, sword? Of yeah, all things. Yeah, it, it's, it's the craziest thing. I mean, who walks around with a sword? Well, nobody. <laughs> they have to be stupid. We both look at Xander. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are an official, you know, uh, experimental archaeologist reenacting ancient knighthood techniques. Yeah, anyway. unless you are a nerd. Yeah, yeah, then you're just a nerd. And not so a I look back to the officer. <laughs> so anyway... Do you have any idea where you could have possibly gone? I mean, aren't you guys tracking a dangerous individual like this? I mean, it's it's complicated to do that because, um, I mean, I guess they must have taken mugshots of the guy, but all the pieces relating to him or the, the, the records about him seem to have disappeared. So I guess he must have stolen them. He almost didn't steal anything. He stole that and he stole my book too. And uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. And nobody's seen him afterwards. I mean... I think there was a witness, but uh, we're still doing the portrait. Did you just say he stole your book? Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, what book was it? Well, I don't think it's important, I mean... It might be. Why do you think that? What, what are you, so some kind of private detective or something? Uh, something like that. Yes. I don't know if I should be talking to you then. Um, I mean, I, I could get in trouble with, uh, with, my, with my superiors, you know? Uh, well, they won't hear it from us. I guess the important well, thing is just to get the guy caught. Look, my good man, we're only here to help. We heard about your little incident, and we're here to see if we can solve, and solve a couple of things. Now, are you going to tell us what we need to know or not? 
Uh, it was nothing. It was a, a book about uh, the, the the Jack the Ripper murders. One of those books where someone uh, looks at all the clues and uh, tries to make a wild theories about it. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. Uh, pretty fun read, actually. Really. So we have a perp who's able to escape from a police station all on his own and decides to steal his identification and a book about Jack the Ripper. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, you said you're here to help, then I, if you have a theory, then go, go ahead, you know? That we are. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help, officer. Well, you're welcome. It, no. Move along, move along. We'll make sure to... Uh, clue the department in if we end up finding anything. Well, just don't talk to the press. Yeah, we won't. Don't worry about it. We're on the same page about that, my friend. We walk off. So, guys, remember they told us about our reincarnation? And that, like, the other guys, the one that turned out to be evil, well, they must also have had reincarnations, right? Or, like, the people they, they reincarnated from. What if one of them was Jack the Ripper? Well, that makes things even more complicated for us than I than I feel like they need to. It might give us clues on how to find him. We need to kill him one way or the other, so it doesn't matter who he used to be. Just who he is now. Not necessarily. We don't need to kill him. Honestly, we need to learn things from him. Torture's not out of the question. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. You've never mutilated anybody before? It's fun. No. I've oh, never mutilated I, somebody before. I had, but it was because it was part of the mission. That's not my favorite part. I just, I like to do the killing part. What kind of missions were you on? Um, see what? What was that? I said it was part of uh, my experimental archaeology experiments for archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sorry. seriously, neither of you have waterboarded anybody before? No. Oh. Cough. Well. No. Cough, cough. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I guess I'm going to have to show you the ropes whenever we find them. Yes, um, show me these ropes. What do we know about Jack the Reaper? Well, what everybody okay. knows. Uh, uh, do you guys hmm. think they have library with a computer and internet in this place somewhere? In this of the 2000s, maybe. Um, so you're looking for a, a library, right? Yeah, I guess. Or like okay. in the oh. internet cafe, if that's a thing that back then. It probably is a thing. You can you can find either. Let's go with a library. Okay. Yeah, you need them in a library. If we can't find the information because there's no internet, we can find it in a book. To literature away. Does anybody have the skill documentation? I have two points. No, nope. but you can try. Oh, Alex Darkness. Can I evilly look for documents? <laughs> you absolutely can. You just have to dim the lights a little bit. <laughs> you, you're looking for documents and look really evil while doing it. Yes. I give a few evil cackles as I look. So I go into one darkness set if I choose to do this. That's right. All right, I'm still going to use the darkness to try to, to read better. All right. I guess while all that's happening, Xander will, like, look up a book on Galahad, maybe? He'll learn yeah. a little bit about his own past life. All right. Actually, he'll try that meditation thing. The guardian lady suggested it, so he'll give that a shot. I don't think he's ever he's done a lot of that, so I think maybe he'll, he'll meditate. You can roll for meditation, actually, since it's one of the Virgo uh, skills. Let's give that a go. It's, it's unlikely that I'll pass. <laughs> Nope. He's restless. I guess I can give the meditation thing a shot as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, that did not work. All right, so Galad. Um, well, you still learn a few things about Galad. What you learn mostly is that um, books are a complicated source for uh, for your own life as Galahad. As um, you'll quickly notice that um, there are a lot of different versions of uh, the Arthurian legends, and often contradictory. So while some things seem to resonate a, a little bit more for you, some other things seem weird, and sometimes you don't—you can't really feel that one's more accurate than the other. In the Arthurian legend, Galad is supposed to be the son of Lancelot. Uh. 
And uh, he Zane. was the one who found the grail. Oh, like, you're my like, son. Then it'll peek over at Raven when he reads that, and he's like, Ugh, <laughs> I understand why I felt so annoyed. <laughs> you're not really sure if that was actually the case at the time, but maybe. I'll look into Lancelot, too. All right. Well, Lancelot is actually even more complicated, because at least Galahad is kind of coherent because of the Grail thing. Lancelot is really complicated because um, as he's a really central figure of the of the Arthurian legend, he's one of the ones with the, that had the most variations about his story after Arthur, obviously. There's the thing with the, how, how is she called in, uh, in English, uh, Guinevere? Yes. So there was, there was a thing about Guinevere. Sometimes that was the driving point about where everything fell apart. Sometimes that was just something that happened and it really started going bad when it became public. Then uh, Lancelot, he seems to, to, to die as a, as a monk. But you're not really sure about that. You might seem to remember that you're not sure you lived very long, actually, after the, the fall of, uh, of Camelot. It's all very hazy, but um, obviously some of what you read uh, doesn't sound quite right. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of legend that's been put on top. And uh, some elements can be used, but a lot of it is it, just bullshit. So anyway, at some point, Fennec finishes with his search. It takes him a whole day to do things. But um, he has a pretty good idea of like the basic facts of the murders. There's a list of victims. The murders happened at the end of the Victorian era in the district of Whitechapel. Five prostitutes were ascertained to be uh, Jack the Ripper victims uh, in murders uh, and then uh, mutilations. And uh, the fact is, the killer was never caught and identified for sure, although there were many suspects. In the library, they have a lot of excerpts from the Times, the journal that, that was uh, published at the time. And um, there were one of the journals that uh, covered the, the crimes. And uh, the Times seems to be pretty thorough about it. Although it's really just excerpts that you, that you find in, in this library. So the town that we're at, does it have like a prostitute district or something like that? Not that you know of. Well, if I remember correctly, Jack the Ripper was never found or prosecuted. So I don't see how that could help us. There were a bunch of suspects actually. So why don't we do this? Why don't we bait them? Them yeah. how? Well, I think you know where we're going with this, Raven. I think we have Raven dress herself up as a as a. Oh uh, my God, no! That is not happening. Enchantress of the evening, if you will, and just like you know, just get like bundled up in in an alleyway, and we're gonna be on like a rooftop. I'm all about dress up time. Uh, Maybe a better idea would, would be scoping out an already existing place of the night, shall we say? And that is how the video was removed from YouTube. Yes. <laughs> I. Or oh, this is how Xander died. We used very discreet wording. <laughs> you can uh, indeed go uh, investigate the red light district. I'm, I'm not sure if there's such a thing as a red light district in you, though. But. Um, I mean, like, there, in every city, there's, like, the four streets where, yeah. like, crime is a thing and where you are likely to find the prostitutes. My character is home away from home, so... Xander's surprisingly innocent. So I'm going to, the, like, the librarian, <laughs> and I'm asking her, Hey, I'm new to this town. I'm just, like, a tourist. And I was wondering, is there like some streets that like I should avoid walking out in alone at night? Oh uh, well, if, if you're in family with this, yes, 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 uh, you should totally, you should completely avoid these. Uh, he, he, she tells you uh, a few numbers of, uh, of streets. There are sort of all sorts of bad neighborhoods, uh, and the, the people there. You, you never feel safe walking there. They, they, they listen to music very loud and. Uh, and it's uh, it's very unsafe, really. And some some of those young people have motorcycles. You know, you know how that is. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be sure to avoid it. So yes, you have uh, you have the names of the streets. Shall we? Sounds like my kind of town. Yes. Maybe we could dress me up. I just want to participate. 
Sounds like my kind of place. Let me show y'all around the best place to be in any town. No, like in these activities, I meant in the hunting of this individual. Oh, there's always time for a little sightseeing. I just want to fight a demon. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and thank you for watching this video. If you want to be a part of this story, we are currently looking for more players and game masters to play new games in this setting and on this channel. Finally, if you want to keep up with all of the adventures on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you can get a notification each time we upload the next episode of this story. And it would be very nice of you to like and share the video to help this channel grow. Have a nice day everyone.